Mark Jenkinson, MP for Workington. Thank you very much indeed for coming to the studio with us Thank today. Thank you for having me. Um, we're going to talk to you about your career's advice proposals uh, tomorrow. Um, but I just want to start by asking you about the story of the day. Now, you're the MP for Workington. Uh, at the last election, it was the first time at a general election that Workington had ever elected a Conservative MP. That was you. Do you trust him to keep that seat for you at the next election? Or I do. Uh, he is that the optimism that he displays and the promises that he makes on levelling up places like Workington are exactly what my voters want to see. Of course, that means between now and the next election, we have to deliver on those promises. Some of that is starting to filter through in Workington with spades in the ground this year. But we've got a lot of work to do over the next couple of years to, to enable us to keep those promises that I made and he made to my electorate. Do you think... He, Boris Johnson, sticking to the line that he thought, it, or it, it was a work event, largely. Do you think that was ill-advised or the right thing to do? Well, the Prime Minister set out uh, his version of, uh, of events and he made a full and unreserved apology for all of the misjudgments uh, across government and number 10 uh, throughout the pandemic, which, I mean, I don't think anyone could expect anymore. You'll know number 10. Uh, you'll know what a sprawling complex of offices it is. It's sadly not. I it's not... Sadly, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> because I spent all my time uh, on the Labour bench in opposition. <laughs> But, you know, it's, it is a, it's a sprawling complex of offices and uh, hundreds of people work there. You know, but the people try and talk about this being his home. Well, of course, there is. There's a flat in number 11, a flat in number 10, four floors above, tiny part of the complex. So um, I think that's a, a, a mischaracterisation. But, you know, he set out his version of events. He's apologised unreservedly uh, for all misjudgments. And I don't think we could expect any more. And we need to wait for that inquiry from Sue Gray to deal with, to, to set out all of the facts around any of these gatherings as they are. How has your email inbox, the most valuable tool that I recall from how angry voters are um, about issues like this? So I see every single email that comes into my office and yesterday I had a significant quantity, as you might expect, but I had more asking me to cancel the police crime and sentencing bill than I did about the Prime Minister. And I would say there was a significant overlap in the people sending them as well. 